What is up ladies and gents, Noli here. Welcome to another Payday 2 Christmas video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the achievement you're all probably most interested in from update 93. It is the We Do It Live achievement. Once you complete this one, you will unlock a festive um, safe and drill. Upon opening these, you will unlock a random festive weapon, which are all pretty nice. I'm a massive fan of when Overkill decides to add their weapon skins in a free and enjoyable to unlock fashion such as this. So this is my guide and sort of tutorial on how I went about getting the achievement. There are certainly a fair few tips I think I can give you to make your experience a little easier. I did do it with one friend and one random guy that I've met while joining lobbies trying to find people interested in picking this one up. Um, all you have to do to complete the achievement is uh, finish the framing frame job on the overkill difficulty or above with each crew member using no skills, wearing suits, wielding Platypus 70 sniper rifles and judge shotguns. So the weapons they choose to give you are certainly not too bad though generally require skills to be of uh, maximum usage. Um, but I think the reason why they gave you these two is because it's difficult to make a nice uh, low concealment build, meaning that framing frame could simply be stealthed and uh, you can get it over with. Of course, it's hard to stealth no skills, but it's that bit harder again to try and complete missions loud with absolutely no skills. Of course, the suit is also a disadvantage. Um, however, it does open up a couple of perk decks to you. Rogue can be very beneficial, but because you can't heal very easily at all, um, you can only heal from uh, doctor's bags. Uh, purchased through the asset menu. I generally recommend a healing perk deck such as Grinder or the one I chose, X President, which is rather good um, and is available to all of you because it was released with Bodhi, the character. So that's the way I personally went about doing it. I also had two different Platypus snipers and two um, Judge shotguns. One which was uh, one of each, which was kitted out for a loud mission, and one which was more aimed for stealth. In the end, because we tried both day one and three stealth, I went in there with my stealth equipment, so I wasn't quite optimally set up, uh, but it went well in the end either way. So clearly, the way you modify your weapons is not of massive importance. Um, you're actually able to get your concealment uh, value down to 43. Uh, which isn't too bad at all, your detection risk, I should say. Um, 43 is the sort of midpoint um, where cameras are obviously going to spot you considerably faster and you have to remain crouched at most times, but you certainly can operate on a stealth mission and complete it. Hell, you see people doing uh, 75 uh, detection risk all the time. Of course, you will be without skills as well, making it much harder, but I definitely think day one is very stealthable with this kind of build. If you want to get your detection risk that low, you are going to need some um, concealment stat boost for both the Judge and the Platypus. Those are actually very easy to unlock if you just do jewelry stores, run them very quickly. I unlocked about 20 in about 60 heists, or 20 overall stat boosts of different uh, varieties, two concealment ones at least, and that allowed me to do this mission just a tiny bit easier. Um, so yeah, definitely try and stealth day one and two if you're very experienced, and sorry, day three I should say, you will be able to do day three. Uh, day one's very doable I think for most. We do slip up on both which I think makes the gameplay a little more entertaining for you guys and we end up having to do both days aloud. Remember try and, um, though in the gameplay you can see me trying to get the team to leave a little earlier on, uh, I'd, I'd say my team is correct in trying to grab as many paintings as possible because it does make stealthing day three a little easier. Um, that's another tip that I can give. Day two, um, obviously you can try and grab the bags if you want some experience, but because you're just looking for the achievement really here, I recommend, as we did, just running straight on through. Um, if a crew member goes down, generally would also recommend leaving him there. You'll also notice that I do this in a party of three. It's also very doable in a party of two. Um, in these kind of limited heists, I generally adore bringing the AI along. While they're still stupid as anything, they're very tanky and they don't have to suffer the same sort of penalties you do when you're nerfing self, yourself for these sort of uh, specific setup uh, achievement heists. So the AI are definitely good to bring along. They can revive you and tank up a lot of damage, which is not something that you can do yourself in your lightly armored suit with no particular skills um, or amazing dodge ability. So yeah, I was originally planning just to do it as a duo with two AI, but uh, we did find this guy in one lobby who wants to do it, and it did make it a little easier, because especially on day three, there's a lot of interactables. 
So day one's really simple. Uh, you just want to hang around together. For me, running the ex-president Pert deck, and I think um, at least one of us uh, who I was playing the highest with was, was also running that, definitely stick together. Definitely try and keep your health ticking on over. It's a very powerful Pert deck, um, especially for trying to pick up this achievement. Um, so grouping, playing careful, watching out for cloakers and making sure that you revive almost immediately to keep that sort of chain going on. Of course the AI will be very trusty, not for taking out enemies but for keeping up revives, especially when cloakers uh, appear on the scene. Of course framing frames not too hard a job when it comes to snipers so you won't have massive issues with them. You don't have to run max dodge uh, with something along the lines of rogue. Um, what other things can I think of? Yeah, day day one's quite simple. Day two, just run on through. Day three has some complications. Remember, they're going to be two power supplies. Easiest way to find those generally is just to wait till the gods turn them both off. Um, it takes a little while to get our head around it, and we're running around like headless chickens for a short time. But eventually, we set up a pattern where I defend the stairs, my friend defends um, a corridor where the second power box is, and the guy that we picked up to complete this heist with sits by the computer so if the uh, the power does go down they can immediately reset the computer as i've said day three is definitely quite difficult to stealth especially with the limitations you're putting on yourself still doable if you're an expert but do expect probably to go loud in day three and have to coordinate in one way or another generally try and find the key cards to open up the doors a little faster just the simple stuff when it comes to framing frame that probably isn't worth me telling most of you veterans who are trying to pick up this achievement i'd say the best tips i can give are of course pick up one different version of the platypus depending on which way you're planning to do the mission uh, allows for versatility within the heist the ex-president is probably the best perk deck to try out when you're stealthing bring along the shuriken because that way you don't have to silence your judge shotgun um, and when you're not, I generally recommend some sort of explosive to work well against bulldozers, but they generally weren't a problem at all. This was actually my very first attempt at doing this um, achievement, and we sailed straight through it. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I may leave a little bit of gameplay on. I don't know how long this commentary has actually gone on for, um, but that is it for the achievement. Best of luck in your safe openings once you've picked it up. I, unfortunately, was not particularly lucky, um, but I'm actually a massive fan of the uh, the skin that I picked up. A lot of these festive skins are really nice, and though I think it's just like a, a broken in skin I got, it, it looks really nice, and it, it's it's a common. Um, there is one legendary skin floating around out there for, from the uh, festive safe, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, best of luck to you guys opening those. Hope you have enjoyed. There will be more payday videos coming along the rest of the week before Christmas and a very uh, important giveaway that I need to announce. I'm going to go away to the Lake District for a couple of days with uh, a few of my friends. So that may, may, may mean the videos become a little more intermittent, but I will uh, hopefully as soon as I back, pick back up on that where I left off. So that's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed. See you all in this one. Scandal in DC. The weapons dealers talk of the town. The elephant and his party are.